This will be a very short video on how to install mods in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 as of June 11th, 2024. Firstly, on your home screen, you're gonna go to your search bar. You're gonna type in R-U-N. It'll say run system. That's what we're gonna click. We'll have a little window show up here. And as you can see, it's already typed in, but we'll type it in again. Uh, percentage app data percentage. You're gonna click enter on your keyboard or okay. It doesn't matter. And then now if you look at the top, it'll say roaming. We don't need roaming though. We just need app data. So we're gonna click on app data to the left of it. Now we have local, local low and roaming. We're gonna double click on local. Now we have another list of things. We're gonna scroll down until we see packages. This is alphabetical order. Pretty easy to find packages, click. Now a bunch of random things with a bunch of random numbers show up. Scroll until we start seeing Microsoft. Now we have Microsoft. You're gonna scroll down to Microsoft.FlightSimulator underscore eight W E K Y B three blah 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 blah. Double click on that one. Now we have a bunch of other things. We're gonna double click on local cache. This, by the way, is the file path if you have it downloaded through the Xbox Store on PC. I will put on screen the file path if you have it downloaded on Steam. Same process, different file path. You'll be able to follow along either way. Now we're gonna double click on packages. And these are the two folders we need. We really only need one for this video. If you would like to mess around with the default planes or like to mess around with planes you've bought but they're in the store, some of those files you can adjust, most of them you can't. That's the official. So you'll go official, one store, these are default planes, etc. Go back to packages, community is what we want. This is our community folder. If you double click, you can see I have essentially nothing in here. I have a fresh install of Microsoft Flight Sim. I don't know if I said that before, so this should be exactly how you see it, minus the two things we have in here, which is just G's, which shows you the landing rate, things like that, and Flow Pro, which just streamlines some things. Anyway, those are not important. We're gonna put a brand new plane in here. We have no plane mods installed at the moment. So this is the folder you need, community folder. My suggestion would be right click on it and click pin to quick access. Pin to quick access now, on our little side thing here, we have community. We can get to our community folder super easily just by clicking that and your community folder will always be there. It makes it super easy. Okay, now we are gonna go to the internet to find mods. Flightsim.to is my preferred website for downloading mods. There are other websites. I wouldn't trust them as much. I've never had an issue with flightsim.to. That's where 99% of freeware mods are put in the first place. So go to flightsim.to. I typed it like this just so you can see what it looks like in the actual Google search, make sure you're going to the right website. Now, I'm gonna download the C-17 because it's one of the best freeware planes in the sim. If you would like to download something else, the best way to find just planes is to click on other, and then you can go all categories if you would like to, and it'll say planes, or you can go other, new aircraft, etc. it doesn't really matter. We're downloading the C-17, so that does not apply to us. Enter here, and for reference, We'll sort this by most downloaded, so the actual plane mod will show up. There we go. For reference, this is how you download essentially every other mod as well. So if you want a livery or something like that, same process. We're just gonna do it with a plane, just for reference. Okay, go ahead and click download. It will give you a countdown there. You'll have to wait until the countdown is over. So countdown over now, we can click download. It'll go up into our downloads. We'll wait till that's downloaded, and then I'll show you the rest. So our plane is done downloading. Now click on the plane itself and there'll be a button right here that says extract all. Let's go ahead and extract this. It'll take just a few seconds and then a new window will pop up. Now we have this new window that popped up. As you can see the C-17, that is our plane. You're gonna right click on that, copy that file. Now click on file explorer yet again. You could have of course done this right after you extracted it, doesn't matter, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to find your community folder again. Click on community folder. Then we're gonna right click in some free space in here that doesn't, not on an actual mod, but just some free space. And you're gonna click paste. Now it will paste the mod into your community folder. Now all we have to do, launch our sim, load it up, and let's see if the C-17 is in there. So a little bit later, our sim is open. We'll go to world map here, and then we'll click on our planes. I will type in 17, we'll get to the C-17, and there it is. As I said, super easy. Again, if you wanna do this for Steam version, I'll put the file path for the Steam version on stream. Essentially same idea, super easy, and I would, very much suggest either putting your community folder on your desktop or pinning it to uh, to the spot that we pinned it. And that is it. If you have any questions, 
leave them down below, but hopefully I answered everything and thanks for watching.